They lie less than a mile offshore. Not exactly beckoning, though. Not with a name like Misery. How you doing? But that's where we were headed, in Salem Sound and a part of Salem, Mass, only a half a mile off of Beverly, they are the Misery Islands, great and little. I'm looking forward to this because I've never been out to them before, but have always been very curious. I mean, stories of shipwreck, fire, a lost golf course, all of which really has made Great Misery Island more about great mystery. And now Great Misery was looming up. Thanks to Essex Heritage, which provides the only public boat access, we put in on the wide, empty beach and set out for the interior. This warm, sunny day, a far cry from what befell an earlier visitor here. 1629, Robert Moulton came out here to cut wood. The early snowstorm came and he was stuck here for three days. And so the island became known as Moulton's Misery and then it was shortened to Misery Island. In the early 1900s, a Boston business group built a summer resort here, complete with a golf course, private cottages, and a casino. Ruins remain today, like the wall from a saltwater swimming pool, the casino itself, and these massive supports for a giant water tower. But by the late 1920s, a fire and the Great Depression put an end to the unwisely, if aptly named, Misery Island Club. And they tried to call it Mystery Island instead of Misery Island. So to uh, a promotions person, that would have been a big improvement. Yes, I agree. <laughs> big improvement. Tough to improve on what survives, though. 83 unspoiled acres and over two miles of trails, all a property now of the trustees of reservations. It's incredibly bucolic and restful. You can walk the trails, experience an aspen grove or these beautiful mature oak trees and then an unbelievable landscape is just revealed of the coastline. It's really very special. But it might have all been lost twice, the first time only decades ago. In 1935, they proposed an oil tank farm, which would have stored 12 million gallons of oil here on the island. What could go wrong on Misery Island? <laughs> And as you can imagine, the neighbors um, banded together and raised the money to purchase the island and then donated it to the trustees at that time. The trustees fended off a second threat here in just 1988, securing now the hidden gem that is great misery for the future. We're so fortunate as an organization to be able to steward some of Massachusetts' most iconic properties. And this one really has a little bit of everything. Including mystery. Now, some mysteries, it should be noted, can be found much closer to home. For years, I've driven by this golf course only a mile from my house and wondered, what the heck is that? It's a great topic of conversation. Golfers are asking, people that happen to ride by might stop and say, what's with the stone? Do you know what really happened there? Maybe. It rears up as you approach the hilltop green on the 17th hole at Holliston's Pinecrest Golf Course. Needless to say, an odd place for a huge stone mound. People have said, you know, it was um, an Indian burial ground. Maybe it was a marker for alien spaceships. Maybe it was a revolutionary uh, gunpowder cache. But you're not buying any of that? No, I'd rather go with the eyewitness account. Long before this property was a golf course, accounts do record a neighboring farmer hauling rocks from his fields here, and it's grown ever since. Even nowadays with the golf course, the fairways keep bringing up stone. So this has gotten added to. Yes. For their part, golfers here don't seem to mind a 30-foot rock mound crowding the pin to the left. Do you ever hit this thing? No, no, because I, my natural shot shape is towards the right. So I never. So you come just either. lose them in the woods. I lose them in the woods. Yes. You play golf. Is this among the odder things that you've ever seen sitting on a green? Uh, yeah, because it's man-made. This I've looked at this, and, and we've all speculated, what in the world do they have in their mind when they built this? Uh, clearly not a golf course. Now it's too big and too costly to move. Besides, the speculating is more fun than the facts. Can you completely discount the theory that aliens dropped it here? Oh, no, no, I wouldn't discount that completely. I mean, <laughs> aliens do some amazing things. <laughs> it is perfectly round and almost exactly 17 feet high on the 17th hole. 
Just saying. And as Ted said, you'll find the curious rock mound on the 17th hole of Holliston's Pinecrest Golf Course, which opens for the season March 27th. You'll need more than a golf cart, however, to reach Great Misery Island. You'll need a boat. However, Essex Heritage is not offering public tours of Misery Island this summer. They are offering private charters for those who are interested. We will post that information on our website. Up next, a tribute to the greatest generation.